6.1, number 27. Here are the three curves. Um, is it possible to, there we are, to zoom in a little. Here's the square root of two, the secant times the tangent, and the y-axis. So the area we're looking at is in here, and we're rotating it around this line. So the radius is the distance from the axis axis of rotation to the curve. And the distance is just the bigger divide, I mean, minus the smaller. So the bigger is the square root of two. The smaller is the secant times the tangent. And we've got pi times the radius squared. Um, what are our limits of integration? We're going from here to here. Let me go back to Desmos. Well, this is just zero, clearly. X equals zero. Over here, it's pi over four. And I, I sent you an email. You can use Desmos. You can do stuff like this on Desmos. I want to know if you can do the calculus, not if you can find these points of intersection by hand. So we're going from zero to pi over four. Um, foil this. And now we have to take the antiderivative. The antiderivative of two is easy, two x. The derivative of the secant is the secant times the tangent. So the antiderivative of the secant tangent is the secant. This is the hard one. I think we've talked about this a few times. Um, but the derivative of the tangent is the secant squared. So if you let u be the tangent of x, then du is the secant squared of x. And we've got u squared du. u squared du, and the antiderivative is one third u cubed which is one third the tangent cubed. So this is becoming quite ugly, I'm afraid, but 2x minus 2 times the square root of 2 times the secant of x plus 1 third 
the tangent cubed of x evaluated from zero to pi divided by four. Um, you don't have a secant button on your calculator, but the secant is one divided by the cosine. That being said, on the test, I would probably try not to give you a, um, a geometry problem that becomes as ugly as this, but you'd stick in pi over four and zero and subtract them. The other problem you asked about is 28. So below this line, above the sign, and between a zero and pi divided by two, that's this region rotated around y equals two. So rotated around this line, A uh, new share, let's get that document camera up. Well, here's the radius, the distance from the axis of rotation to the curve. And once again, let me get these labeled. This is y equals two. This is y equals two times the sine of x. Once again, it's just the bigger minus the smaller. Um, so we're going from zero to pi over two. That was told to us in the problem. We've got pi times the radius squared. And I'm not actually at this point in time really interested in evaluating this interval integral. I, um, I have to apologize, really. I didn't realize how many of these homework problems um, involved using trigonometric identities. There won't be anything like this on the test. I'll tell you that now. Um, we'll come back to this integral. You can't see the cursor. We'll come back to integrals that look like this in section 8.2. So for now, this is how you'd set it up. We won't worry about actually evaluating that.